Hi, everyone. My name is So San Juan. I'm a dietitian, certified diabetes educator, as well as TLS director of training. This is probably the most common question that I get asked all the time is, do we need starches, grains, or dairy to become or maintain a healthy lifestyle? The simple answer is you really don't need to, but you can. It really depends on your goals, what your commitment level, and your other health issues, because all of us are different. So we shouldn't have one plan that fits all. You should find a plan that fits you. So let's start off with dairy. This is one of the food that you love it so much, but they don't love you very much, right? So who doesn't love ice cream? Who doesn't love your cheese, right? And who doesn't love a glass of ice cold milk that you get to drink and dip your cookies in there, right? This is a typical how people love their dairy. However, there's more and more research to show that dairy, when you eat in high consumption, actually promote what we call pro-inflammatory, which is in increasing in inflammation, which is something that we try to go far away from, right? So because of that, dairy is not necessarily a healthy part of a lifestyle. However, if you choose and you say, I enjoy my dairy, are there healthier choices? And the answer is yes. So if I were to choose dairy, I would choose something that has grass fed organic. And this is exactly what I choose. So whenever I buy yogurt or I buy milk for my kids, if they choose and they said, mommy, I really want my milk. I usually would choose the grass fed organic and I usually choose the whole fat. I don't buy low fat. I definitely don't buy fat free because there's so much research to show that we really don't need that. We need that extra fat to help us give us satisfy. And the low fat doesn't do as much as it makes us more hungry. So we end up eating more food, right? So that will be something that I would encourage. And when you choose yogurt, making sure you choose plain yogurt. You can buy the Greek yogurt or you can buy the regular yogurt. But the most important is looking for grass-fed, organic, plain yogurt or plain Greek yogurt. And when it comes to grains, so grains are a um, variety of grains, right? There are non-gluten grain and there are gluten grains. And a lot of people do have a, re a reaction to grains. So some people are more sensitive to the gluten and some people are not. However, you never really know. And I often say the best way to know if you're sensitive to it is staying away from it for about a month and we're introducing it. And this is exactly what the 30 day jumpstart program is. When you start with the 30 day jumpstart program, you're not including grain for 30 days. So after that, you can choose to uh, maybe incorporate one of a meal plan or menu plan that has grain. And when you start introducing grain, you notice I'm feeling tired all the time. I'm bloated. I just don't feel right. Then at least that that's giving you a signal that your body actually don't like grains more than you might like it, but your body doesn't like it, then at least you know this is not the food that you eat on a daily basis or maybe on a sometime basis, knowing that you will be feeling tired afterward. So really the choices is up to you. But when you do choose grain, I would say there are so many healthier options right now. You can choose feral tef, you can choose felt, you can choose buckwheat, you can choose so many healthy grains that we can have choices. And even with pasta, there's so many different pasta out there. There's brown rice pasta, so there's black rice pasta, there's edamame pasta, there's brown, there's black bean pasta, there's lentil pasta, there's so many choices. So nowadays, I don't even remember the last time I have a whole grain pasta. All my pasta are these, what we call unique pasta, like lentil pasta, black bean pasta, edamame pasta, and I love them just as much. So when you start incorporating them and you actually feel uh, tired and sluggish, you know there's only so much you can eat before your body said, I can't do it anymore. So the choice is really up to you. And last but not least is, is starches. Starches, uh, there are some healthy starches can be part of a, a healthy lifestyle, depending on your goal and your commitment level and your timeline to achieve your weight loss goal, basically. So there are some very healthy starches that we like to recommend, which are like, we talk about squash, we talk about sweet potato, we talk about yam, we talk about quinoa. These are all very healthy starches. But if you said that I need to get shredded, then in that case, the starches may not support you in that. However, if you're at your healthy weight and you said that I really enjoy them, I said, why not go and enjoy them? Enjoy a smaller portion as part of a healthy lifestyle. Do I, have, do, I, do I have these food? Yes, of course. These are some of my favorite things I like to include as part of my meal. However, I may not necessarily have it every single day. So again, the most important with the TLS program, it is so flexible. It is multiple menu plan really based on your need and you can adjust 
based on where you are, how you feel. So I will end with a tip to say, always listen to your body, watch for changes in your uh, symptom to let you know if your body prefer or not prefer that. Not what you like to eat, but if your body prefer that. And let that help dictate the type of lifestyle that you should be following to maintain a healthy lifestyle that's full of, full of vitality. Because we're not just looking for losing weight. We want to lose weight and feeling great at the same time. And that combination, I think, is very important to help you stay on track. So hopefully this tip help you to understand more about starches, grain, as well as dairy, and knowing if you were to choose them, what, which one are the better choices. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.